Hey there. So um, this is a commission and um, I'm going to be pouring on two 12 by 16 canvases so they're ready to roll. And I'm using one to one ratio of paint to Floetrol latex based. That means with acrylics or water based paints latex. I'm also going to I'm a, I've got Artist Loft white and black just in case I need it. Got a dark chocolate that probably is deco art. And so this is 24 karat gold deco art Americana decor. This one is, tw uh, that's 24 karat gold. This one is pewter, which is here, which is ha it has a bluish cast. It's really a beautiful color. If you can see, it has a, um, pewter but it has a bluish tint that's why I like it so much then there's copper there uh, this is outdoor living um, they're all Americana decor but this one is outdoor living for some reason it was ten dollars and I got it for 250 at Hobby Lobby this right here is Soho urban artist red ochre from Jerry's Artorama this one here is Payne's Gray, which is not, Payne's Gray is not gray. It's like a dark, dark aqua blue. And I added some Artist Loft White to it to lighten it up so you could actually see the blue in it. This color here is Yellow Oxide and Unbleached Titanium Liquitex Basics mixed together. And like I said, I may incorporate brown or black or white as well. So I'm pouring two. I guess I can just pour them independently and try to remember kind of sort of the same thing. They're going to be a companion set. I'm going to use the sink strainer, but it's not going to have a sink strainer feel. And I need almost pretty much a full cup, so we're going to see how this goes. And I'm not going to do it in the center either. Okay, so just make sure all the edges are covered with something dark is why I want that. I really like this. It's very earthy and I'll tell you why I like it. I had someone that wanted me to do two paintings. She and her mother had been on a trip and they had been to this place that was in caverns and um, so she gave me inspiration pictures and it's basically just multiple layers of rock It was just pictures inside of the cave and it was very colorful rock formations and the rust and charcoal gray and some gold. So that's why I chose these colors. And um, you can't see it, I don't think, but there is some shimmer in it from the metallics, which is really pretty. And I was afraid that it might go too dark, but actually I really like it a lot. And I'm just going to get out the couple little lumps that I see. I didn't want a lot of cells, but I, I, like, I like the cells that I do have. But it's kind of linear, and that was what I was hoping for. I really didn't know what shape it was going to come out, but I just knew that after I did His Glory, the one that was a few days ago, the challenge that was His Glory, and I did the strainer pour, and it just kind of, the cells just boom. And I was kind of thinking this might do it, but it's not a large canvas. It's only 12 by 16. So you, when you do smaller canvases, it kind of limits to you, you to how you can stretch your cells out. So I could stretch this really far if I had a larger canvas. But I want, I want those blues that are in there. So I don't want to get rid of that. And I like these earthy tones. I'm pleased with that. So I'm going to hit it with the peak gun. And I'm going to move this aside. 
because I want it to be here for the next pour. This, this right here is good for my sides. And then I can go any direction I want to go when I put my paint on the canvas. And the, one, the lady that commissioned me said, just do what you feel looks good. So I'm just kind of going with my gut on this one and hopefully it'll work out. And if she doesn't care for this, that's okay too. I'll just keep them and try to sell them later because they'll appeal to someone. So I'm going to start this pour just like I did the last, well, I had white first. So let me put a little white down. And that's why I kept my paints in the order that I poured them just to kind of make sure that it was similar but you know not the same either. No two are the same. I'll put that in last. I'm shooting it down in there. It is so pretty coming out of the cup. This one is going to be even better. So. I really like this one too. And it makes me feel a wonder like if I need to add just a little bit on that. So I think with this one I'm going to add just a little bit to give it a little bit more of this feel because this is stronger and it's going to be really tricky. But I want the lighter colors so, and the, well, the metallics, I want the metallics. I dribbled just a little bit of this red oxide. I think I can live with both of those pieces. I think they're beautiful. Pretty. I just need to continue that pattern there. It looks like a wing. I don't want it to contrived like it was a wing was added. It looked like a wing and I didn't want it to look like that. So I'm just trying to change the shape of it. And these metallics are really beautiful. I want a very linear feeling. So I am pleased with that. To me they have that layered rock earthy kind of feel to them. And then the cool part is is there's this shimmer going on with all the metallics that's just really beautiful. Um, doing these colors together, the gold and the pewter and the copper is just phenomenal in that one little area. You can see it really well. It's just beautiful. I think for my inspiration pieces, I'm hoping that she'll, uh, she'll like these.
So there's not any silicone in here. So there really shouldn't be anything. I don't know if you can see that, but it is very shimmery and it's blue and gold and copper and almost a green, a little bit of a greenish cast. It's really beautiful. Yay, I like them. I hope she does too. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. I've got a group there for friends from YouTube so you can come over to Facebook and find me there and send pictures and we can message and stuff like that. So, um, there's also uh, a PayPal link and an Amazon recommendations link. I've started a Patreon page and you can go there and contribute once a month and there'll be some different perks for you like a question and answer sessions where I'll do a video and offer some special things that will kind of surprise you along the way and some free downloads and that kind of stuff. So please go check out Patreon as well at Sandra Lett. It was good to do this for you. I hope you really enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thank you. So this has some shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see it. Metallic gold and some copper and pewter, which is the bluish gray color. See the copper? That's actually pewter. So it's got some beautiful shimmer to it between the gold, copper, and pewter. And then I used the, uh, the kind of clay red color and a little bit of brownish black but I think, I think it looks pretty pretty darn good